What's going on, everybody? We're going to play some Call Time Constructed for the first time ever in life. For me, this is my first time playing Call Time Standard. I'm probably going to lose spectacularly, and that's okay. We're playing this Yorion deck based on Emergent Ultimatum. Got a Yorion here, so that means we've got 80 cards up in this piece. <laughs> Two Jewelry Disruption, which are basically lands as well. Negate One Negate. I don't understand a lot of the numbers, but it has Emergent Ultimatum and Vorinclex and Shark Typhoon. And these are the cards, presumably, that you want to hit with um, with your original ultimatum. You want to get Valky so you can put Tybalt into play. Vorinclex, otherwise known as the green guy, as as chat mentioned. Alrun's Epiphany. Uh, Kiora Best the Sea God, and Seagate Restoration, draw cards equal number. So if you have, like, four cards, you can just draw four with this and get no maximum hand size and... I mean, I don't know if that's ideal, but it's definitely an option. Shark Typhoon is also an option. So if they give you, like, you can choose, like, Typhoon, Kiora, Seagate Restoration. And if they give you Shark Typhoon and anything else, you just cast the Shark Typhoon first. And then you can get, like, a 7-7. Seven, seven. So 7-7, seven, seven, one of these two, and, like, a Shark Typhoon. Yeah, there's a lot of options. Um, but there's a lot of weird numbers, like one Balagate Recovery... One Soul Shatter, one Elspeth's Nightmare, one Saw It Coming, one Migration Path, and then the one Negate. And it's kind of weird. But, I mean, like, we have a lot of removal. We have four Heartless Act, three Eliminate, two Extinction Event, four Binding of the Old Gods, two Shadows Verdict. Uh, I love Maze Mind Tome. Two Wolf Hollow Haven to ramp. Like, your, your, your primary means of ramping to seven are Binding, Migration Path, Cultivate, and Wolf Willow Haven. So... And then we have a your, your pretty standard suite of lands. Sweet! I really don't like that I have Borderless here, but then this one's got an ugly-ass border on it. Alright, what are you going to do? Anyway. Oh, we'll look over the, look over the sideboard, too. Hopefully there's a coma in the sideboard. There she is. I'm assuming it's a sh- I have no idea. I don't, I don't know coma. We have one Blood Chief's Thirst, one Duress, one Disdainful Stroke, one Negate, one Eliminate, two Mystical Dispute, one Sock Con. And a bunch of one ofs. Like, there's no, is there, there's no way to search your sideboard here, right? I'm not like going crazy. One Necromentia, one Soul, one more Soul Shatter in addition to this one. Uh, one, one more Shadow's Verdict, one Elder Gargoth, one Coma, and one Erebos's Intervention. This is literally 14, 13 one ofs and two Mystical Disputes. I personally don't get it. But, uh,. You know. Also, there's more Time Spire Remastered stuff being shared, so. Hold on. Let's play, we're going to do standard, traditional standard ranked, best of three. Emergent. I'm not used to having a companion in my deck. I'm not used to, to very many things constructed based, so. I'm not used to things, me. <laughs> oh, Michael B. opponent's taking a Thank you. Well, we are like, what are we, bronze bronze 14? iFlex, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome. That is awesome. I appreciate you. 
Um, yeah, I'll keep this. This seems fine. We can cycle the Typhoon. We have four lands. Go turn three Yorian. Got two two removal boys. Oh, it is Sword of Fire and Ice? What is this? I don't even know what that is. I'm sure it's a George R. R. Martin crossover reference. Oh, the wood of four bracket. Oh, man. I'm in the polycarbonate bracket. What is this? It has... Oh, it's the second one. I was like, what? What's going on right now? I was confused. Okay. I mean, these are all one drops. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, they're doing some shenanigans? All right. They're not doing shenanigans, as it turns out. Well, we don't have a fourth land guaranteed here, so I'm definitely going to play Balagate Recovery to make sure we hit our fourth land. And I do want an extinction event next turn and name all the, all the odd boys. I'll go to 12 here. If they play a creature that's not odd, I do want to kill it. That, I'm probably going to... Oh, boy. No, actually, that gets exiled, right? So that doesn't really bother us. And they have one card. Oh, God. Extinction event's going to not be ideal for them. I will choose odd. And game two. Well, that'll do, pig. This is a Ketria Triumph, not a Zagoth Triumph. I want to keep a black up so I can actually play Heartless Act. Let's get a second blue and a second green here. Green goes in play. Blue also goes in play. I guess we just take one here. I mean, I really don't feel like heartless acting this guy when next turn we can make a shark and block it or... Yep, see, that's what... Now, now we're getting... Now we're talking. Okay. I mean, the two for one is, is too real, I guess. Okay. Um... Blood Chief's Thirst. Eliminate. I don't think Soul Shatters that. Oh, wow, that was weird. It's got the other card. It's got Elspeth's Nightmare, which is probably pretty good for us. Only two Shark Typhoons in the deck. We drew both of them. <laughs> well, isn't that something? Uh, take a Drivari Disruption here. We got saw it coming. Um, negate seems fine. It does counter like blood rock and burn spells and things like that. Elder Gargaroth seems pretty decent. All right, Gargarino. I've got 
master's guide. I've got 12 sides. Are there Zagoth Triumphs too? Because I'm only drawing these Ketrias. Oh boy. I've got Kitty Pride and Nightcrawler too. Waiting there for me, a son of dude. Okay. I've got posters on the wall. My favorite rock group kills. What is this guy? XL3? That's not terrible. I've got Ace Freely. I've got Peter Chris. Hmm. Pretty sure we just play this key heartless act up. Oof, that guy's gotta go. That's fascinating. Hmm. Probably just playing Valky here. Um, I do want this. I don't want the other one. Oh, boy. Let's take Boney Boy. My, my kingdom for an extinction event. That's not an extinction event, is it? Three for this. Three for this. Hmm. Well... We're going to have four, five lands this turn, six lands next turn. So we need green, green. Oh, we don't have a second black. Oh, that thing's going to black. Uh, next, no attacks. I would also take a Shadow's Verdict, yes. Being able to exile all these dudes is uh, top two. So black, black, blue, blue, green, green, or blue, blue, green, green, green. Yep, that's pretty good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. So we're blocking this Mamma Jamma. See, this is going better for them. And scene. That'll do, pig. Yeah, I'm going to put another verdict. Take out the soul share. Um... <laughs> we have a lot of removal. Take out one shark typhoon. My 
my favorite rock group kills. Stop saying Erebos' intervention. I hate that card. I don't I don't really hate it. It's fine. Um yeah, I'll keep this hand. This is like 17 lands, man. Let's drop that triome first. Also extinction event. Chef's kiss. Man, that's a thing alright. Oh wow, another triome, huh? So next turn, we're going to go Seagate Restoration, keep up Jwari Disruption, and then Fabled Passage into Extinction Event. That's our... Hmm. Well, that is a dude, all right. No, nope. you don't get that, buddy. Unfortunately, they have two different, two different types. Already article, think arena rewards and card issues are bad as well. Really wish we could just craft stuff like an art. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense to me. It's obviously, it's obviously one of the best parts of a trading card game. Hmm. I actually want this on board, interestingly enough. Did they really hit two of my Maze Mind Tomes? No, they got a Swamp, I guess? That's interesting. I could have sworn they hit two Maze Mind Tomes. Eh, just gonna name Odd. Wait, oh, oh, it comes back. Got it, got it, got it. Sure. We're having a good time. I would have liked that eliminate. Pretty sure we're just dead here. Hard to craft decks breeds more mono red players. I think that's actually correct, yes. I mean, when I can't brew and I can't, like, experiment with decks because of the uh, the cost, the prohibitive cost of making rares, like, I have no incentive to, like, play your, like, non-tier one decks or, like, non-cheap decks with minimal rares. Like, it's just... Oof. Bottom you, keep you, do the things that I know you wouldn't do. Yeah, get that scry on, Brady. Brady. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Erebos Intervention would probably be fine in here. I actually think it was a mistake to not include it so that's my bad oh good i don't know why i gave them that but Ugh. I don't think I care about that, but nevertheless. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to have six mana. So you can't Alrin's Epiphany. Hmm. You got it. Double Remy, boys? Sure. Okay. 
So I'm not sure if I want to do this during upkeep. I don't think I do, but really I have no idea. I don't know what's going on. You're tapped out and I'm just trying to just trying to get my land here. I don't think so. I think whatever this gives us is not gonna be good enough. Well that's not gonna be good enough either, I guess. So I guess we're just playing Vorinclex here. Hoping that's good enough? Probably not. We're probably just dead here. Oh, it comes into play with zero counters. <laughs> oh, that's amazing, dude. Wow, that's like the second time Vorinclex has wrecked an opponent's saga for us. Wow, that was... I was like, wait, but why didn't they gain it? I don't understand. Oh, boy. That's good time. What? <laughs> You're just going to concede from that? That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Wow. That shame scoop. I bet they were like, hey, I'm going to steal you boring clacks and kill you with it. Uh, wait, what happened? But I don't understand. Let's run it back. A miss. How good they pulled it. Hold on. Yeah, I guess that's fine. <clears throat> Obviously we're playing first. Obviously we're keeping this banana banger of a hand. Where am I? Who are you? Don't worry about it, buddy. It's none of your beeswax. Was that rude? I hope not. I consider bread a dear friend, so... To be rude... would just be sad. Um... I'm gonna omen here. I don't think I want Warren Clex here. Do I want this island? Probably? It was rude, but that's fine. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm glad we didn't... Uh... Oh, they're just running... Oh, it's just mono-red for days here is what we're... Let's get a green. Maybe another green. Two green? Sounds good. You think they're gonna you think they're gonna pump their Rimrock Knight with another Rimrock Knight and play a second Rimrock Knight? The answer was no. Hmm. Let's get rid of this guy. <clears throat> sure. You got it. Um just playing the green here. I don't know what we want these to be yet. Eliminate. Well, I 
flank it. Let's go get a Zagoth Trium, I guess. So even, even odd, huh? Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. So next time we can play Cure Best to Sea God. 88 Hexproof seems pretty good. Interesting, interesting. Oh, so the Ketria Triumphs are for the Valkyries. That's pretty sweet. We're at four, huh? Well, that's pretty good. Oh, boy. <laughs> Don't like that. I bet there's no mountain in here, even though we're playing 80 cards. Block the Anax and hope they don't have a uh, Ember Cleave or Rimrock or Removal. Seems likely, right? Oh, they have Castle Emberth. It's on board. Got it. Hard to see, but we figured it out. Okie dokie. Saw it coming can go. Soul Shatter. Why does it do that? Jesus, fix your fucking shit program. So I take out Saw it coming. I scroll down to Soul Shatter. Okay, now it does it. I don't understand, man. It's really... Oh, God. It's... Cringe city. Uh, bring in Eliminate. Bring in Shadow's Verdict. Bring in Erebos. Bring in Gargaroth. Bring in Blood Chief. Oh, hey! You're back. Got him. Okay. I will play first. I'm keeping this because of Cultivate. And... Oh, hey, you're right. No, that's his front. <laughs> God. Oh, boy. I'm going to make this a black because I think, you know... I mean, obviously I want to be playing Binding of the Old Gods, and I also want to play any, any removal spell that we hit. And we can also get whatever blue we need with Cultivate, so... Like we're going to do right now. Uh, another black, another blue. Put the blue into play. Next time we're just going to play Gargaroth. I guess if they play like two things, we'll play Shadow's Verdict, but...
This actually kind of feels better here. Money. Interesting. Stiff mining for gold, take every gold vein pick and drab, play at least half of them rounded down. <laughs> oh god, that should not be nearly as funny as it is. Uh yeah, alright, that's pretty sweet. Tano's <laughs> fucking I love you, buddy. Hold on, let me open that so I don't forget. God. I don't actually know why that's as funny as it is, but it definitely is. Okay, next turn we can also play Emergent Ultimatum, which is kind of cool. So we got black, black, green, green, blue. I guess we get another blue. Oh, actually, original man was rough with rolling vortex, huh? We take like ten. Yikes. Yeah, that's not great. I don't know how anything works in standard, man. These cards are wild. Oh, you're just gonna let me gain the life. Uh, I think we're just actually gaining three. I actually, we're going to kill Rolling Vortex as well. I can't, I can't see it. Um, I may want to cycle this later. One, two, three, four, five. And we don't actually need the mana, so I want to play Heart, we'll Heartless Act to this guy if we have to. I'll block if they want to Rimrock Knight. We'll gain the life. They can Rimrock Knight. We can kill it. Let's just make a beast. I think having a board presence here is going to be a little bit better. I mean, we're just going to go to game three after I heartless act this guy. There's no way it's... Yeah, it's, I mean, like, sure. This is fine. <laughs> Take all the gold vein pick. What if we don't see any? Dude, it's so sad when we don't see any. If we don't see any, I'll just do it again because we're not really sacrificing anything by not seeing any, so. Um... Yeah, you know, I'll keep this. We get to kill the first thing they play. Then we get to put Yorin in our hand. I don't want to care about that. Got two Emergent Ultimatums against the Mono Red deck. That's kind of where you want to be. Oh, wow. What is this? What is this? This is pretty wild. Okay. Nice to see it's had no changes in like a year. Yeah, it's still a sweet deck that we've played against twice so far. Hmm. 
Well, that's our only blue source. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next to combat and the turn. Oh, next turn we can go Binding of the Old Gods. That's pretty cool. Can you control target creature? Sure. All right. Well, I'm just gonna kill this guy. Making a comeback. That's pretty good. I kind of want to keep intervention up. I don't know what they could have, but they have a lot of haste creatures. And if we can just intervention for like three here. Yeah, like this guy. Oh boy. One land, huh? We got green, 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 blue. We just need a blue source? Oh, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, they're dead. There's no way they're going to be... That's a green. We have blue, blue, green. Yeah, that's actually perfect. So now we have blue, blue, green, green. This has to be a black. Nope, it had to be a blue. I am not smart. I thought it was triple black. I'm thinking of Cruel Ultimatum, and that's my bad. Okay. Anyway, we play it next turn. Should have played it last turn. They're going to play a 1-1. One -one. <laughs> That's not going to do it. Now we're going to do this. All right. Are they going to concede here? Probably, right? Let's get Vorinclex because it shuts off their, their things. Let's get Alrun's Epiphany. And there's and we'll get Valky. <clears throat> I had to go and do some work. Are you winning your games yet? I am. Oh good, it went backwards. That's good. Make no mistake. No? Okay. I'm not good. Well, that's good. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, we're just tagging for six here. I mean, we know they have two sagas in hand, and Vorn Click shuts those off, so. Are you winning your game, son? So that was my first time interacting with Emergent Ultimatum. I thought they would go to my I thought they would go to like an area over here. And I could choose to cast them. And then I would be like, play this first, play this first. So that was a little bit awkward in terms of... Uh... That was a weird block. Sure. Just play another. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. We got two more. We're good. Yep, that's not going to do anything. <laughs> fucking love it when they play it. You love to see it. <laughs> oh boy, they just looked. They're like, wait, what happened? Kior? Okay. <laughs> Get out of here with your trash mono red deck, man. 
This is why you get Vorn Clicks. Like, you have two of these in your hand. Obviously, I'm getting Vorn Clicks because you have two of those. Come on, buddy. Man, that's wild. I definitely saw them hover over the so over the saga, then over Vorinclex. Oh man, that's good times. Um, yeah, we'll full haven and cultivate and a binding, sure. Nobody knows what the shrines do. I'm in bronze, this guy's in gold. God, you must have no competition. So next time we get to cultivate? Oh, baby. Cultivados. Do you think they counter this? I I I imagine they do. They did not. Oh, buddy. Blue, black, blue. Sure. Works for me. Oh, I like a negate here. One, two, three, four, five mana. Now I wish I got a second blue. I'm not going to play Omen when I have one blue in hand. Even though we could have probably found a... I don't think our odds are super great to find a blue, but... We can just wait. We're doing things. Well, I'm trying to do something real quick. Table passages for days here. Is that flash? Oh boy. That's exciting. Yes and no. <laughs> Hunter's like, Mer. Okay. We're so close to emergent ultimatum again. Except for that they have blue mana and they haven't played a single thing this game. You're just, you're just casting this as a, as a man. Cast him as a man. Let's 
get a bluesel. The omen of the sea. Yeah, I'm gonna bottom you and I'm gonna keep you because you're the last piece of the puzzle that we need. My turn. My turn. And we're gonna say it's three green, right? Yeah, let's add another green. He's so got two mana up, I don't trust that. Thank you. Bind them gods. What up, Knight of Sticks? Welcome back. Really appreciate the resub, my dude. Welcome back. Oh, Goldie boy. Okay, so now we just get to... No, I guess we don't get to do that yet. They could still have... Six, seven. You got so many treasures, brah. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Get that treasure. Get that gold. Sure. Come on, buddy. One, two, three, four, five. They're tapped out. Kill your stupid dragon. Oh, we could have actually played Yorion Blunk the Binding. Oh, I forgot we could blink this, and then I that would have been, that would have been better. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I really want Counterspell and Ninth Mana. Is that a lot to ask for? Neither of the. Actually, I kind of like Balagad Recovery here. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, we messed up. I'll blame it on the constant sense of pressure I feel from uh, MTG Arena. Okay, this negate back. You gonna you, you game for that? Is that cool with you? No, you can't have it back. They're like, do I really want to deal with being able to counter any spell? And the answer was yes. Oh, what up, Michael B? Go back to your tree. You can find it under the sea. Michael B. Oh, no. I mean, we knew they were doing that. The point is, we just don't want to let them have pressure on the board. Oh man, I wish we had that Yorion. We'd also be able to get another land. We'd been able to scry four times. No, draw two. Oh man, that would have been such a better play. I think that I think if the game, uh, if we lose this game, it's going to come down to that stupid Yorion play. They were tapped out, and I chose to counter the spell rather than blink Yorion. 
or cast you around blink the binding of the old gods which would have killed the um the dragon all the same they would have gotten an extra treasure off of it right uh when it become when it's actually start, it's, it starts, it's actually they would not have it's when it's a target of a spell not a spell or an ability relevant distinction Pokemon, gotta catch them all. T -t -t Today, Junior? Okay. Oof. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have eight mana. We want nine mana. So I'm just going to pass here. I mean, my shark's going to be bigger than their shark, so. You got it, my dude. Okay. <laughs> what? I had seven cards in their hand. Let's take out Extinction Event, Shadow's Verdict. Elspeth's Nightmare. Convert a mana cost, Heartless Sign. These are both fine. Bring in one, two, three, four, five. Duress seems nice. This is definitely a coma matchup if I ever saw one. We can take out. I guess they do have. Um, they do have some creatures, right? They we saw Bone Shredder Giant as well, Bone Crusher Giant. He ain't shredding anything. Eh, take that out. We have enough removal between Heartless Act, Eliminate, and Binding. That one? Is that the mouth noise you mean? Oh, cool. Good games. That was a good time. Always a pleasure, MTG Arena. Always a pleasure. Oh boy. One land we can't do. Now we can do. Keep. I feel bad about it, but I gotta put the emerging ultimatum back.
so we're playing against rogues. I have no idea how this matchup goes. We're playing this because we want to hit lands. We have no form of uh, <laughs> filtering here, so... Okay, that was nice. Are these both one drops? Well, that's good if we get a, you know, that one card. Extinction event. Counter spells in this deck? Probably, right? I don't know. Oh, man. What? You got it. If they have another counter spell in their two cards, it's probably game. Sure. I guess I'll take four here. I guess I'll die. A second.
take out. Actually, Shadow's Verdict seems decent. I mean, it's expensive, but could be fine. Um, what do we got? Six seconds, huh? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Submit with 82. That's totally fine. Uh, yes, because Yorion is a mono blue card, essentially. I wish we had a second land again, but alas, no. Keep six, put the ultimatum on bottom. I got a bomb message today. 90 minutes went massage. Went home, fell asleep, still feeling. Yeah, massages are wild, man. You got it. Mill me for one whole point. Are you going to counter my omen of the sea? No, I didn't think so, buddy. Eh. I'm gonna, mill, I'm gonna shoot both of these. We're gonna draw a card. We got two more lands. Okay. Um, we don't have a black source, so we're definitely just gonna play this as a black source. Act and Jewelry Disruption. I think both of these are fine to keep. Because the Disruption is the, is the very least a land next turn, so... And we're going to fight over this. Okay. play this and keep up Mystic Dispute. We're playing it now because we might be able to hit a land. I kind of want both of these to be quite honest. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sure. Uh, yeah. I mean, one more land, we get to play both, so. The text on that six drop, it's in Phyrexian, buddy. Get it together. Hmm. Interesting. Give all my creatures death touch. Um. Fuck. Did I just play Vorinclex? No, probably not. They try to counter for three. We can counter with Mystical Dispute. We only have six, though. Yeah, I'll just put this guy in hand. Let's 
Fife is a, says my autocorrect. Oh, uh, sure. Put that dude in the garbage can for me. That would be great. You got it. Easy game. Okay. Um. Again, I'll just keep both. <laughs> so they have two cards, and we have uh, a lot more <laughs> threats. Yep, that's pretty good. I don't even want to look and see what permanents are in there. I don't think there's many. I think it's like Binding of the Old Gods. Okay, Elman, sure. That's not exciting at all. They have three menus. This guy's on an adventure, right? They don't have access to this? Sure, okay. If we get a Heartless Act, that'd be great, because we can kill this guy now. Uh, I don't think I want either of these. I just don't think they do much. We don't need more lands. Oh, boy. super fucking obnoxious. I actually didn't think they had that in their hand because it, it's got the adventure literal keyword here. So I don't know why I would have thought that was not on an adventure. Like, why does it have the book here? The book literally says adventure. What? Why does it... Why, why is that revealed when it's in your hand? That's really kind of weird, I guess. Fingers crossed your last card is not, uh... So we got green, 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 blue, blue, black, black. Oh. Okay, cool. <laughs> we got a four and a five, which does not do anything. We'll get Alrin's Epiphany at the very least. That gives us another turn. Um, Balky seems good. 
and Heartless Act, right? So if they choose Heartless Act and Valky, we kill both their creatures. Um, if they choose Heartless Act and Alrun's Epiphany, we have another turn. If they choose Alrun and Valky, yeah, that seems fine. So we're probably going to get another turn here. And then we can just cast Valky. Yeah, I knew about it. I knew about it. That's why it was revealed. But it shouldn't have the... Like, I'm looking and it has this big adventure logo here. And then you go over it and it says, Adventure. You may cast this card as an adventure after you exile. So I'm assuming that this means it's on an adventure. I'm not saying I didn't know about it in hand. I also thought it went to their hand. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can actually just go Valky kill this. Or one, two, three, four. Yeah, let's go Valky kill it, I guess. Gotta play Wolf Little Haven too there. I'm just trying to like survive. They cannot ca I'm gonna attack with one here. Yep, that's why. <laughs> Good reason. So now they have one card. Ooh, there we go. Okay. There we go. Three, four, five, six. Then we have two left over. I'm pretty sure we just go cultivate binding here. Get a blue and a black, I guess. Blue on the battlefield. Play the black. Drown the lock was a pretty sweet hit. Okay, got he. Okay, so eliminate seems worse than like soul shatter now. Also, I don't think I hate one disdainful stroke just to deal with like rankle or the other one. Also, now we can sideboard properly. <laughs> we actually just played 82 cards last time, and that was pretty okay. Um, Shadow's Verdict seems worse. I think that's fine. Maybe Coma's good? I, I do like I just want to play a Coma. I'll take one Seagate Restoration out. Coma, 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 Alien. 41 plus 41. Nice. Solid. Uh, 
Um, I will reluctant. Well, actually, Jory Disruption is actually a a blue source, which is pretty good. Interesting. Oh, that's a good draw. Even if they don't know about it, it's still pretty good. It lets us keep Drawer Disruption up next turn and also cast Fatal Passage, so. And by cast, I mean, you know, put into play. Or we can just play the Disruption here, keep Extinction Event up. I kind of like that better. Because Fable Passage next turn gets us Binding of the Old Gods or Extinction event, which is just fine. Death's completely fine, yes. Discarding a card, huh? Let's go get a green. All right. So we can Elspeth's Nightmare that thing. I guess we're just hoping they don't have... Oh, I guess it doesn't matter if they have that stupid big guy. Oh, wow. That's... Let's get Ketria here just because if we hit... Um, what's his name? Power two or less. Oh, no. You don't do it. Okay, seems good. <laughs> mm -hmm. What do we got? This is a goth triumph. Seems like we need a choice here. This is six mana we can omen to try to hit the seventh land and then emerge an ultimatum. I kind of want both to be... Eh, actually, we don't need that. We can just keep the... I'm going to keep Shark Typhoon because it's just a solid play anyway. And then I'm going to draw that naturally. Oh, and we actually get to see their friggin' hand to make sure they don't have a... Nice. Okay, this game's over. So now we have green, 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 blue, blue... <laughs> Why are you still playing? Epiphany. Okay. <laughs> this game is sweet. On that note, we're going to call this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check the description for the, for the deck list below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in the comments. Be sure to follow or subscribe on both Twitch and YouTube. Uh, if you guys have it in you, if you guys are able to, to, to spare it, uh, it's... Definitely goes a long way if you guys head on over to YouTube and or uh, head on over to Twitch and, and, and shoot me a sub. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys liked Emergent Ultimatum. This deck was sweet. Emergent Ultimatum is pretty cool, and I'm surprised because it was definitely not, um, it was definitely not expected to be. I definitely didn't expect it to be that good when I first um, when I first saw, when I think when anyone first saw it. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.